Have you ever wanted to add a linear gradient box shadow to an element but realized linear gradient doesn't work in box shadow? What's up guys, Gary here with self.dev. Today we're gonna go over a quick, easy solution for box shadow gradients. To solve this, we are going to use pseudo elements. So let's go back over to our code here. And this doesn't work, so we're gonna get rid of the box shadow on the actual card. And in our HTML, just so you're aware, we've got a container div, we've got a div for the actual card, we've got an H2, and then we've got some P text, just to give it some content. And then in our CSS, we've got some basic stuff for the container, and then some basic stuff for the card, so it doesn't look super horrible. Now, we are going to select the card again and add a pseudo element before. And then in here, we're just gonna add the basic pseudo element stuff like container or uh, content. Uh, is going to be just an empty string. Position is going to be absolute. Left is going to be zero. Right, zero. Top, zero. And bottom, zero. And then speaking of position, we need to add position relative to the card because we want the position of our shadow to be relative to the card. Now to actually make the shadow, we're going to say background linear gradient to right, and let's just make it red and blue to keep it nice and high contrast. And then to actually make it look more like a shadow, because right now we'll basically just have a square that goes from red to blue, we are going to use filter, blur, and we'll give it a 20 pixel blur, and save. And if we go look at our content now, the shadow is in front because we need to do Z index negative one. And there we go, we've got a nice little linear gradient behind our element. Now, you're probably saying, hey, what, do I, what, if, what if I don't want it there? What if I want it down or to the right or something like that? Well, no problem, we can just use transform, translate X, um, let's make it 50 pixel, actually let's do 25, and translate Y, 25 pixels, and save. And that moves our shadow down and to the right. And you can use positive values or negative values to position that anywhere you want on the screen. Uh, you could also, this is kind of more work in my opinion, you could just comment that out and say um, top minus 40 pixels, bottom minus 40 pixels. And that will give you the same, okay, wait, did that wrong. This needs to be positive 40 pixels. Yeah, there we go. So that kind of gives you the same effect of shifting the shadow down, but in my opinion, that's more work. So what you could do if you wanna adjust the spread of the shadow, adjusting the left, right, top, and bottom, that could like adjust the spread. But if you wanna move it, I'd recommend using transform, translate X and Y. That is it. Hope you learned something cool today. If you didn't know how to make box shadow gradients before, hit that thumbs up button so I know you learned something. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the cool content I'm putting out. And I think that's about it. So I will see you guys next time. Peace. Round one.